alternative formats for this presentation can be found on the Financial Services website. Visit the Financial Services training page. Email us at finance.training at queensu.ca or give us a call at 613-533-2050. The General Ledger and Why Chart Fields Matter In this tutorial, topics will include the General Ledger, Fiscal Year and Accounting Periods, Chart Fields and Why They Matter. We'll define chart fields and discuss those that are required versus those that are optional, how to request a new chart field, and other tips and noteworthy items. Part 1. The General Ledger The General Ledger, commonly referred to as the GL, is the central place that stores every accounting transaction the university makes. The entries, called journal entries, are debits and credits made to various accounts. These accounts fall into categories such as assets, liabilities, revenue, expenses, just to name a few. Why the GL matters The general ledger is the source of all financial reporting, from your monthly departmental statement of operations to the university's income statement, balance sheet, and cash flow statement. As such, it is critical to keep the GL error-free and secure. Ledger groups store financial transactions in the GL. There are multiple ledgers within the GL. However, there are three most visible and meaningful to end users. General ledgers include actual, budget, and commitment. The actual represents the amount actually received, expensed, and or transferred. The budget amount is the amount approved for spending. And the commitment ledger represents the amounts encumbered or set aside to prevent overspending. For example, advances issued by way of the expense reimbursement system, the graduate research assistant fellowship contracts, purchase requisitions, research overhead, and salary contracts, approved appointments, and fringe benefits. Part 2. Fiscal Year and Accounting Periods The university's fiscal year runs from May to April. For example, fiscal year 2016 represents the calendar period May 1, 2015 to April 30, 2016. This calendar period represents accounting periods 1 through 12. Accounting periods record GL transactions for the calendar month. Calendar periods 1 through 12 will close five business days following each calendar month. For example, May 31st will close on the fifth business day of June. During these five business days, the system will continue to post to both May and June accounting periods, whichever period the transaction is applicable to. On the fifth business day of June, the May period officially closes, signifying the current period is now June. Periods 998, 999, and 0 are periods used by financial services to record year-end adjustments, accruals, deferrals, annual closings, and opening balances where applicable. Part 3. Chart Fields and Why They Matter What is a chart field? Chart fields are information fields used to provide the university's financial system with the basic structure to segregate and categorize transactional and budget data. In other words, chart fields organize financial data into different buckets, defining the data and reporting who, what, and where. Why do chart fields matter? Assigning the correct chart field values when coding revenue and expenses ensures data integrity. What is data integrity? It's about making sure the data you enter is accurate and consistent. Why is data accuracy important? Data drives financial reporting. Inaccurate or inconsistent data means inaccurate reporting. Inaccurate reports could misrepresent the effectiveness of programs and affect future funding. Who is looking at my data and why? Users of financial information depend on accurate data to make informed decisions. Within Queens, this includes a wide range of groups, from the Board of Trustees to department heads. Outside of Queens, this includes decision makers at the local, provincial, federal, and other levels of governing bodies. What causes inaccurate data? 
choosing an account that does not best define the transaction, selecting the wrong chart field value in a drop-down field, duplicate entries, like processing the entry more than once, processing a journal entry backwards, recording a transaction posted to the GL in a previous fiscal year. Part 4. Chart Fields Defined A typical chart field string may include up to six chart fields, fund, department, account, program, class, and or a project. The fund ID is used to segregate, control, and monitor resources to help ensure and demonstrate compliance with legal and administrative requirements. For example, Fund 10,000 represents the operating fund. This fund includes teaching and administrative activities at the university. Operating fund revenue includes government operating grants, student fees, and unrestricted investment income. Fund 15,000, the non-credit fund, accounts for all revenues and expenses associated with lectures, courses, and similar activities which are not recognized by the institution for the purpose of granting credit. The fund is comprised mainly of non-credit professional development and self-interest courses, such as continuing medical education and executive development programs. The ancillary fund, Fund 20,000, includes business units that provide goods and services to the university community and cover their full operating costs, including indirect costs, and may also contribute to general operating expenditures. Examples of ancillary operations include residences and housing, hospitality and conference services, parking, and other general services. Fund 30,000 represents externally sponsored research. This fund includes all research activities and contract research funded from restricted sources such as government, private industry, and donors. Unspent monies in this fund are deferred at year end. Fund 31,000 represents internally sponsored research. This fund includes all research activities funded from internal university sources. The Capital Fund, Fund 40,000, includes activity related to the capital infrastructure on campus. The Capital Fund reflects amortization of both costs and deferred capital contributions, interest on debt to fund capital expenditures, the capitalization of assets purchased through other funds, the deferral of funding received to purchase assets, and renovations and alterations activity. Restricted trusts include funds that begin with five and those that begin with eight through 84999. These funds account for expendable designated gifts, benefactions, grants, or contracts which must be spent in accordance with specific instructions. These funds must have donor terms of reference or for grants contracts must include repayment provisions should the funds not be used for the intended purpose. Funds that begin with six are internally restricted endowments. These are funds that the university has set aside to generate income for specific purposes. The university at the Board of Trustees level can decide to use funds that were previously unrestricted and make an internal endowment. Funds that begin with 71000 through 79999 range are externally restricted endowments. These are funds that have been donated externally and the donor has requested that the income from the endowment be spent for a specific purpose. There are specific reporting requirements to the donors for these endowments and these reports are completed by advancement. External endowments are managed by the departments that spend the income that is generated each year from the pooled endowment fund. Annuities are represented in fund range 70000 through 70999. Annuity funds are no longer being offered and will be phased out. Annuities are set up as an externally restricted endowment, whereas regular payments are made to the annuitant. When the annuitant dies, the residual value of the fund may be used by the university. At this point, the residual value of the fund is transferred as stipulated by the annuant. Funds in the 90,000 range are agency funds. 
These funds are used to record monies or transactions for outside groups who have a close relationship with the university. Balances in these funds do not belong to the university and are not reported in the university financial statements unless consolidated as a separate entity. These funds are only used in exceptional circumstances. Now let's talk about the department ID. The department ID identifies the divisional breakdown of an entity into operating units. This ID is also used to grant system access to users. The account ID identifies the nature of a transaction and is used consistently across all departments to record revenues and expenses. Accounts that begin with 4, 5, and 6 are those reflected on your monthly statement of operations report. Accounts that begin with 8 are used to record equity transfer entries to capital projects. Accounts that begin with 9 are used to record university revenue allocation and carry forward allocation entries to funds 10,000, 15,000, and 95,000. These accounts also appear on your statement of operations and are typically processed by central finance. The program ID identifies activities or events directed towards the accomplishment of a set of objectives. For example, a conference, workshop, event, or program. The class ID identifies activities relating to people or locations. For example, employee, faculty, student, team, visitor, city, or a building. The project ID identifies activities directed towards the accomplishment of a set of objectives that have a defined beginning and end. Project IDs are used to track research projects, IDs that begin with three, and or capital projects, IDs that begin with four. Part 5. Chart fields required versus those that are optional. Required chart fields are used for university accounting and reporting. Optional chart fields are used internally by departments to track internal financial activity or to further define transactions. Here is a sample chart field string. Notice the fund, department, account are all required chart fields. The program ID is a required or mandatory chart field when coding to CFI research projects otherwise it's optional. A class ID is an optional chart field. The project ID is required and used only when coding to research and capital project funds. In these cases it is a mandatory chart field. Accounts, programs, classes have no boundaries and can be used by all departments. Here is a typical sample chart field string. Let's suppose a principal investigator whose home department is in biology has an NSERC research grant and wishes to reimburse their student for conference travel that took place in Calgary. When coding the reimbursement, it might look like this. Fund 30,000 representing research externally sponsored funds, department 11,540 representing biology, account 640,001 representing the travel account, program 11601 recording conference 1 activity, class 1319 representing Calgary activity, and the researcher's project ID 388001 representing their NSERT grant. Part 6. How to request a new chart field ID. Before requesting a new chart field ID, authorized users of the FAST financial reporting tool should first check to see if the chart field ID already exists. Where can I view chart field listings? Begin on the FAST homepage, select Pinned Reports, select All Public Pinned Reports, and finally select the desired listing from the drop down menu. Where can I view current project listings? From the FAST homepage, begin by selecting Finance Reporting. 2. Select Research Reports. 3. Select Project Summary. 4. Begin to input the desired report perimeters. 5. And finally, select Execute Report. How to request a new account ID or department ID. Generally speaking, all required IDs in these two categories currently exist in the GL structure. However, in special circumstances, 
where it is determined that a new ID is required, discussions will begin with the requesting department or unit and the unit's business officer. The requester will complete a chart-filled request form and forward it to Financial Services. How to request a new class ID or program ID. Occasionally, when a generic ID or one that best describes the required purpose in either of these categories does not already exist in the public listings, the requester will complete a chart-filled request form and forward it to Financial Services. How to request a new fund ID. To request a new trust or endowment fund be established, the requester will complete a chart-filled request form, attach all terms of reference documents, typically coordinated through advancement, and forward all documents to Financial Services. For additional trust and endowment information, view Financial Services faculty staff page or contact the Advancement Office. If you'd like to speak with someone in Financial Services, email financial.reporting at queensu.ca. How to request a new project ID. The process for requesting a new research project ID begins with the Principal Investigator and University Research Services. To learn more, visit the Tools for Research at Queen's website. The process for requesting a new capital project ID begins with Campus Planning and Development. To learn more, visit the Campus Planning and Development website. Part 7. Tips and Noteworthy Items Budget Notes Budget nodes are account IDs ending in zero. These accounts are used to record budget and commitment activity and are used for reporting purposes. In this example, all expense accounts that begin with 606 roll up to budget node 606000. This node reports the total budget, total outstanding commitments, and total expenses all relating to printing services. Smart coding. Smart coding is a coding method used by Queens that group similar items together, making it easy to identify what budget node these expenses or revenues roll up to for reporting purposes. In this example, the group of accounts that begin with 606 is reflective of smart coding. Each account can be easily identified as a type of expense relating to printing services. Internal cost recovery. ICR accounts. Every expense node contains an ICR account. When recovering all or any portion of the cost from another internal source, the ICR account used to record the entry is the one located under the node containing the account that was originally expensed. Well, let's look at an example. Suppose your monthly departmental photocopying is charged to your operating fund 10,000 account 606001. The ICR entry to credit the department operating fund back and recover the cost from a researcher would be a debit to the researcher's project using the same account 606001 and a credit to your operating fund 10,000 using account 606002. Account 450101 internal sale is used to record the sale of a good or service from an ancillary operation like Event Services, Donald Gordon Center, Creative Design Unit, to a Queen's Department unit where the price of the good or service includes a markup which provides for recovery of other indirect costs incurred. Only the Ancillary Operations Fund 20,000 should use Account 450101. There is no impact on the cash flows or net income of the university. Account 450101 is used to record the internal revenue and the appropriate expense account that begins with 6 is used to record the expense side of the transaction. For example, the Creative Design Unit creates custom signage inserts for the Biology Departmental Office. The journal entry would be a debit to Fund 10,000, Department 11540, Account 606007, and a credit to Fund 20,000, Department 56005, Account 450101. Account 480001, Revenue University Funds, is used when reallocating funds from one unit within Queens to another unit within Queens. Revenue University Funds are funds that cannot be tied back to an external source. There is no impact on the cash flows or the net income of the university. 
account 480001, must be used on both sides of the entry. For example, Faculty of Arts and Science Operating Fund provides research startup funds to Biology Research Principal Investigators Internal Research Project Research Fund. The journal entry debits and credits the appropriate funds and departments and uses account 480001 on both sides of the entry. Account 480001 should never be used to transfer between operating and non-credit funds and trust and endowment funds. This account should never be used to transfer to or from the agency fund 9000 series, to or from externally sponsored research projects in Fund 30,000, and this account should never be used to transfer in-year revenue activity that can be tied to an external source. For guidance and assistance with these types of transactions, contact your departmental faculty unit business officer or email financial.reporting at queensu.ca. Consider the impact. Example number one. Account 614 Capital Equipment for items greater than $10,000. If these accounts aren't used for these purchases, they won't be capitalized. To learn more, visit Financial Services training page. Example number two. Account 641017 Miscellaneous Expenses versus Account 600009 Other Supplies. Neither account is ideal but proves how important it is to choose the most accurate account as the smallest wording can have an impact on reporting. These two accounts fall under two different reporting nodes. Consider if the fiscal year reports account 600009 other supplies as 35% of the total of the 600000 office supplies expense node, does this really help with decision making? Example number three, every expense node contains an ICR account. Using an ICR account outside of its reporting node means one node will be overvalued and one node will be undervalued. Combination edits or combo edits. Combination editing is a set of rules used to improve data integrity at the time transactions are being entered into the system. Combo edits prevent chart field entries that are not valid and will display an error message to the user. Combination edits do not prevent all incorrect chart field combinations and is the reason why it is important to fully understand the impact of choosing the correct chart field and chart field string. Combination edit rules. Here is a sample rule. All transactions require a fund, department, and account. The string below would not pass this combo edit rule as the rule is looking for a valid department ID. Here's another sample rule. Transactions posted to a research project ID must include a valid ID applicable to the project ID. The string below would not pass this combo edit rule as the entry is posting to research project ID 388001, which means the rule is looking for the fund to be 30,000 not 10,000. Combination code or combo code. A combination code is a six digit unique number used solely in the HR module. The code represents the complete combination of chart fields required to process a salary payment. Users processing a salary payment by way of the HR module must include a valid combo code containing valid chart fields. Who can assist me with choosing the correct account ID? Contact your department faculty unit financial business officer or email financial.reporting at queensu.ca. Remember, we all have a role to play in producing relevant, accurate financial information to support decision making at Queens. How may we help you today? Give us a call at 613-533-2050. Email us at finance at queensu.ca and visit the Financial Services website. We are located at 207 Stewart Street, 3rd floor, Rideau Building. Hours of operation are Monday through Friday. We are open from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. 
To learn more or to review additional training resources and video tutorials, visit the Financial Services training page.